I meant talking with the music. Yeah. <laughs> Not oh, with words. <laughs> see, you can do both now. Okay, this came from Italy. Yes, Fabrizio, we are live. Yes, oh, I thought, look at me read it. Yes, we are actually live. This is live. See, he just wanted to know if we were live. See, you th no, yeah. this is oh, not yeah, we're recorded. Italy, Italy, Can't you tell? Italy should be, what, uh, seven hours ahead of us. Seven? Uh, seven hours ahead of us. Uh, probably about eight o'clock at night. Oh, dinner, dinner time. Dinner and wine, like perfect. That. It's going to be that for us. I might be off bit. by an hour or two. <laughs> just a little bit. Okay. I, I know one Italian phrase. What? I used to hear it when I was a kid. And, and I apologize if I mispronounce it. I, I used to, when I was a kid, I loved to listen to shortwave radio at night. And, and I'd just go and listen. And, and I would pick up Italian stations and North African stations and Middle Eastern stations at night. And I remember they, they always sign off there and they would say, Abbiamo, trans abbiamo trasmesso musica leggera. Means we, means we, uh, <laughs> we transmit <laughs> something, music somewhere? Light, light music or something. See, yeah. I kind of I heard a little bit in there. A little bit. Okay. <laughs> You know, we're talking about music and how you get into a trance, but what do you do? Not Yanni the musician, not Yanni the composer. What do you do to just relax and have a good time? It's, I'm not very difficult, you know? That's the you one thing. You don't seem very difficult, I must say. The, the, my father taught me that uh, the less you want, the happier you'll be in life. Uh, I started very young with that. Uh, he would take me for walks up in the mountains, made sure I understood nature, you know, taught me about plants, flowers, this, that, the sunsets, the colors, uh, appreciation for nature, you know, and simplicity. And talked to me quite a lot. I had a lot of conversations. So I had a lot of, hey, I had an amazing teacher, essentially, at home. Um, now, to, to relax, I love the ocean. That's why we're right next to the ocean. Right here. I, I mean, love... it is beautiful here. Yeah, thank you. It is. It's, it's, it's a nice place. Uh, but anything that has to do with the water, I'm a water baby. You know, I was born That's in Greece. Right. You know, I'm fine with it. Anything. I would like scuba diving, fishing, windsurfing, anything you want. What is the water? How does it make you feel? Because clearly you're attracted to it. Yeah, well, I feel like a dolphin in it. I feel completely comfortable. My whole uh, temperament changes. My whole face changes. As soon as I'm in it, I, I feel like because I swam since I was a little kid and we did like eight miles a, a day for years and years of swimming. So, and we spear gun fish and scuba dived. And, you know, I dive in the water and I become a different human being. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, we're going to take another really quick break. Uh, but if you guys want to submit your questions, just go to Yanni.com. And yes, I promise we are live. Uh, Yanni's going to talk next about his best-selling book and if he plans on writing another one anytime oh soon. <laughs> Stick around. We'll be right back. We're more similar than we realize. I've traveled quite a lot. I've performed my music for a lot of different cultures, and it communicated. That was stunning to me. Human beings are very powerful. All of us, not just some of us, all of us. And there is nothing that we cannot do. There are no limits. The fact that I grew up in Greece, I think uh, played a significant role in the way I, I look at music. I grew up listening to rhythms that are not common in the West. And what we call today in the United States Ethnic music was what I considered music. And what here is rock and roll, to me that was foreign music. So I came upside down. Cheers, yeah. No hi ye ho go hing le do gong chow. And that's all the Cantonese I know, but. Oh, 
obviously these are similar in music, they're bars. Right. 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 Um, a little sign of, over a note like this says that this note underneath that is the highest note on the bar. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna speed up. Yeah. Okay. It's just gonna go one two one two one two three. So a lot of you have a lot of dreams. Obviously, that's why you're at the university. I am certain that the teachers had something to do with the students. But at some point in life, you must begin to listen to yourself. You must take the knowledge that the school offers you or the teacher offers you and you must progress it. You have to have original thoughts. If you believe in yourself, if you have a dream, and if this dream is powered with passion and love for what you do, there is no way that you will not succeed. Welcome back. He's a self-taught composer, has perfect pitch, and his music is constantly evolving. Yanni is with us, with us live, excuse me, answering your questions. And you know what, Yanni? We're just going to get straight to another live question, if that's okay with okay. you. All right, perfect. Victor from Mexico, you have used a lot of violins in your previous work, but not very much on your new album, Truth of Touch. Why did you go in this direction? That's a great... That's a good that's one. A, yeah, because I was just I felt like it. <laughs> I just, you know, sometimes it was, it, that's the way my soul wanted to speak. The, those were the emotions that I needed to express. Like in, in Truth of Touch, the rhythmic content is a little more defiant than the previous albums. It's a little more dominant. And I felt like it. I felt like kicking out a little bit. Uh, it, is it something that happens personally in your life that you it kind of changes you, do you think? Of course. Everything it, it has to do with you. When you're creating, it's, it, it comes from everything inside you. It's so like who you are determines what you're going to create. Well, take for example voices mm -hmm. when you decided to use lyrics and mm -hmm. you never used lyrics before. Mm -hmm. um, what was the change? Why change? Uh, it, was, it was a great uh, opportunity to breathe, a, what do you call it, a breath of fresh air in the attic, you know? Just, just Shake things up a little bit? Yeah, yeah, I get out of my skin a little bit and approach music from a different angle. It's not that far away anyway, the, the, a, voice, a voice is an instrument and it's actually the most expressive instrument Good known point. to man, you know, it's, it's just the best. Um, you add the, the content of, of lyrics adds more, you know, the, the, it's an additive process. Was that However, hard for you to let, did they write to your music, you let them write to your music? They wrote, it was a combination, they, they, a lot of the music comes from my old stuff, some of it was new, um, I collaborated with different composers, um, they wrote the lyrics because I don't write lyrics, um, but I, I approved them, I had to approve them, um, it had to, the song had to retain its original soul, you know, I, I watched for that. Um, I was going to say, the, the, the only one of the problems with lyrics is that if your message is dependent, or half of your message is dependent on your lyrics, um, and you take it to a different country, that, that part of the message of the song is lost. Yeah, uh, it only uh, gets to one, one area, exactly. and your music before has was in every country. That's why you have fans from around the world. Mm -hmm. Do you think that's part of the reason? Is because people get to put their own lyrics to your music? It is part of the reason for sure. I think you can reach a lot more people with instrumental music. And I think it's um, if it's done well, and I'm not implying that I'm doing it well, but it, it, it's, uh, He's doing if, it well. if, it's, if it's done well, it will do its job. It breaks through and, and you really I can reach and in one second I can play two notes and I can pull a string in, on your heart. It's that quick. And, and you can actually, it's not strange, I mean, if, if you watch movies, they can in two seconds with a particular choice of a sound of or course. a rhythm make you move. It's, 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 it's so quick. Okay, 
I was going to get straight to a fan question, but I can't. I have to ask this question. <laughs> Film. Why am I worried? Film, <laughs> film, Hollywood. I mean, when, I mean, are you going to maybe compose more for films? Um, when I get older. When uh, you get uh, older? <laughs> now. I know. I, I, we, we, I've been asked many times. We're going to have to wait too long. You're too young, so. We might. You know, actually, there is a couple of things that look promising right now, but I won't be scoring movies on a regular basis. I will pick up projects that I love. If I find a project that I love, then I will score it. So it's safe to say he's not going Hollywood yet? Not yet. <laughs> There's a couple of ideas for the near future. It's, it's possible. I've okay. done movies before, I just haven't done a lot of them. All right. Okay, let's get to a fan question. Uh, Mustafa, and from Egypt, and excuse me, all of you, if I mispronounce your name, I just want, you know, I'm trying my very best. Uh, uh, Yanni, you are the best. I like all of your music, and I have all of your albums. I found myself because of your music. I am Egyptian wow. and want you to come to Egypt. Do you know how much you are loved and adored here? We want you, Yanni, in Egypt. The Egyptian people demand a concert for Yanni to celebrate the success of their revolution with wow. them. Please, Yanni, come to Egypt. Wow, wow. I got chills from I that one. Oh, I need to. Wow. Yes, I will. I would be honored to come to Egypt. It would be an amazing thing to do. I am. Um, I've been following the, the events in the Middle East, like the rest of us, very, mm -hmm. very closely, and. Uh, I have been very moved by their um, courage, their, um, their actually wisdom too. You know, their wisdom, the way they handled their situation. Strength. And, 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 and um, I just, you know, I'm very happy that the voice of the people of Egypt has been heard and I hope they get to take their country where they want to take it. And I think the whole world is watching and we're all very happy for it. And yes, I would love to come over there and celebrate with you. I like that. Okay, let's get to another one. Patricia in Brazil, at the beginning when you started to write your music and to do your first shows, did you ever imagine that your music would bring so many benefits to so many people? For example, people who have been cured of depression, cancer, doing treatments, where was your song, songs were used in their treatment. Mm -hmm. Did you ever think that? No, actually I, I didn't. I studied right music because I loved doing it. I had a passion for it and my soul needed it. My, my music heals me. It, it takes my depression away. If I get depressed uh, and I start working on music, it has the same effects that it has on the fans. Uh, it wasn't until years later when I started getting, and we're talking tens of thousands of letters, of people using the music to overcome um, horrible situations in their lives, like the, the loss of a loved one, you know, going through chemotherapy, or um, a guy that, I met him too, this man, this long hair, he was a biker with tattoos and fell on a motorcycle. He was paralyzed, the waist down, two years of surgeries, the whole thing. He said if it wasn't for my music, he would have never made it. He got off the pain pills because of the music. He used it and he wanted to meet me and, and hug me. And I just, you, you know, and, and these are real people. And, and to think, you can't set forth to write music to, really, to do that. But I think because I'm an optimistic human being, because of the way I was raised, maybe the sum of my experiences, um, the way my soul likes to speak um, has that effect on people, on some people. But apparently a lot of them. Which no, is, there's, there's a, a lot of them. Yeah, it's not just some people. 